Hi and welcome to the next video. In today's lesson, we'll learn about centralized and distributed databases. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. The first thing, what is a centralized database? Basically, a centralized database is a single database at a single location. We have an example here. All the clients access all the data on the DBMS server. Now, this is pretty rare in practice, but if it does happen, there are some advantages that we have to consider. The main advantage is that it's very easy to maintain the data because you only have one space where the data gets updated and all that kind of stuff. So it's very easy for backup and security as it's in one single location. It is much more cost effective than a distributed database and in the end, it's ultimately easier for the end user. But there are some disadvantages. The main disadvantage with a centralized database is performance issues. The demands of multiple users at the same time trying to access the same data. There is also no fault tolerance in this setup. If the main DBMS server goes down, then every client is affected. And it's highly dependent on the network as well. So this again leads into performance issues. On the other hand, we have distributed databases. And basically a distributed database is a set of connected databases stored on multiple computers that appears to users as a single database. So we have an example here. Let's say we have you know, three main head offices in three different parts of the world. So we have various offices in various different locations that when connected together, it seems like it's one main big database. Now anyways, the advantages of setting up a distributed database is you will alleviate some of those performance issues. So there will be no bottlenecks because the load is spread out over multiple servers. It is more reliable setting up a distributed database because it does include fault tolerance. If any one of those servers goes down, we can get the data from other servers in other different locations. And it's very easy to expand. We can add new servers and we can take servers away. So it's very good in that sense. But the disadvantages are, number one, it's very complex and expensive to set up a distributed database. We also have data integrity concerns where data needs to be updated in multiple sites and we need to have time for synchronization between those sites so that if it's very time sensitive, you have to make sure you have a good fast communication network that will update all the data all at once. And so that leads to the final disadvantage where we are relying now on a fast communication system. So anyways, guys, that is a quick run through on the difference between a centralized and a distributed database. I hope you guys learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.